So that was pretty rad. Uh, you know what's not rad though? This. Ahoy salty dogs, welcome back to StarMade on the Star Squadron server. I'm your Captain Lenscap, and uh, today we are mining a little bit, but we're going to get to a project as well. Um, I did want to start off mining, though, because uh, we do this. You know, this is something, this is part of the game, too. Um, I don't generally show mining runs, but uh, this is, I think I just bumped a rock. Oops. You bumped? No. Okay, maybe I'm good. <laughs> anyway, I don't show mining a lot uh, because this is kind of dull and boring. Um, so, but I did want to kind of remind, you know, hey, we are in survival. Like, you know, super carriers and stuff like that. They got to have, that's a lot of resources I have to collect by myself <laughs> uh, if, uh, if I'm going to build something that crazy. But we are building, uh, we are collecting resources so that we can build things. Um, anyway, I thought we would do something cool like, what if we do uh, a mining montage set to metal? pretty rad. Uh, you know what's not rad, though? This. We have officially overgrown the salty shipyard. We are too large to live here anymore. Uh, which is great. That's fantastic. I've been waiting for this for a long time. This, um, this station, uh, this is my, this is my current space station where I live. Um, this, uh, this station, though, was not built as a permanent home. It was not supposed to be a permanent thing. This is like, uh, like the starter base you have in Minecraft, for example. Um, it is your first, you know, get your, get your feet off the ground, uh, collect some resources, um, start a big project, you know, kind of thing, just to kind of uh, initiate phase one of building an empire. <laughs> um, I just noticed uh, on the Lancer, it looks like they have like rotated the jump drive inhibitors. These used to be vertical instead of horizontal like this. Um, so that's kind of weird. Or they used to be horizontal instead of vertical. I guess it depends on how you look at it. So, I mean, let's hop in this build block and float around for a minute. So this is the salty shipyard and uh, we soon will be leaving uh, this place. Um, we may finish it. Uh, we still need to put something in this area and then it'll be complete actually We could just extend this pathway to go over here and call it done um, That would work too, but there's this little bit of scaffolding left for potentially spots now. We're at a hundred percent capacity, so There's not really 
room for more cargo. I mean, there are a couple of places we could do, like, we could organize, we could reorganize this area and put some cargo there. Uh, these storage boxes or modules are all linked to the crafting system, which is there. So we could reorganize that and get some more storage out of uh, out of the station. We could maybe, instead of putting uh, a berth or a mess uh, or something like that here, uh, we could put storage there, since we do kind of have berth over here. Um, so that would work. Uh, but, again, like, this was starter station. This was not permanent living place. So, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking we move on and, and we go somewhere else. Now, I don't have any plans for this at all. I have no idea what we want to do, where we want to go, how we want to go about it. Uh, I'm not prepared <laughs> in, in any sense, uh, for this kind of situation. Um, but I, I do feel like the Salty Shipyard has definitely fulfilled its role um, in our series. Now, that doesn't mean we're never coming back. Uh, looks like I missed a pod. That doesn't mean we're never coming back. This shipyard is still a work in progress. You know, we still have projects to do here. And we still will always, always, always need shipping containers. Um, this was a monumental success, this project, in my opinion. So, the Salty Shipyard was our first real big project on the Star Squadron server, um, and boy was it a big project. We have accomplished so much with this simple, small station. Um, we designed cargo pods and implemented them into our ships. Um, not only did we implement these cargo pods, but everyone else on the Star Squadron server, uh, without exception, well, maybe with one or two exceptions, has taken our design and expanded upon it to make their own um, so that all of our transportation of cargo and goods is universal across the entire server. We did that. We started it. That was us. And not only Star Squadron, but I have seen across the Star Made community other people use my cargo pods in my dimensions and use them, incorporate them into their builds. This is a star-made thing, not just a Star Squad thing, not even just a lens cap thing. This has become so huge in the community, and it's all because of this space station, uh, and that's awesome. Now, other people have done it better. Um, other people have made better pods. Wow, Sven the Slayer's cargo pods. I'm like at awe at these things and how much of a masterpiece they are. Um, they are the most amazing cargo pods I've ever seen. They have like like capacity indicators and they have all these amazing neat features. We're bare bones with our pods, but that's okay because we're working with prototypes still. Like these were the first idea and so it's it kind of works like this in 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 the real world too. If you look at uh if you look at the way the internet is uh, around the world, um, America has really crappy internet, but that's because we were the first ones to have it. So um, we have the rudimentary, you know, get it done, get it down, let's do it. And then everybody else was like, hey, that's a cool idea. Let's expand upon it. Um, and so they made bigger and better and faster, and, and uh, we're still kind of stuck in the dark ages. So um, it's time, though. It's time for us to improve our infrastructure and, uh, and to create more... Uh, more content and better um, better stations and, and better things for us to do. Um, we're, we're working on this fleet, and um, we're going to continue working on this fleet, but we need a place to berth. we got to have a place to dock. I'm thinking our next move is going to be to finish the hub pub. Uh, I'm thinking that's what we might do next, finish the hub pub, and we can move our goods uh, to there and sell them to the rest of the Star Squad. Um, that'll help clear out the space here at the Salty Shipyard, and it'll also give us some starting capital uh, for when we decide to build our next station. Um, now the Hub Pub, here's my thing about the Hub Pub. I've started over on it twice. I'm thinking about starting over on it again. I'm just not happy with, with the design, with the direction of it. Um, you know what, let's quickly go over there and take a look. All right, fellas, welcome to the Hub Pub. Let me quickly hop into a build block and we can kind of fly around a little bit. Um, so this is the Hub Pub. For those of you who haven't seen it, uh, this is our trading depot on the Star Squadron server. We have a warp hub, 
we have set the config files for the server so that you can have up to 20 stations in a sector. We've got ridiculously large sectors going on, so it takes forever to get to anywhere. And uh, this is kind of my baby project. I, I felt like it would be a great idea for us as a group to be able to quickly traverse the galaxy um, and meet up with each other um, for collaborations, that kind of stuff. You know, we like to play together um, and stuff like that. So we built in 232 um, a hub. This is basically a collection of warp gates. As you can see, there's one for uh, UCS, that's Sven. Uh, there's Spawn to Salty Shipyard, that's me. And there are a couple others floating around. Um, so I thought it would be a great idea, since we've got a hub, why don't we put a shop in the hub um, where we can all meet um, under the guise of... Uh, what? Under the guise of neutrality and peace. Um, and uh, we can all meet, and uh, everyone else on the server can buy my things. <laughs> um, I figure what we'll probably end up doing is stocking the Salty Shipyard with the things that are currently in the... Uh, no, stocking the hub pub with the things that are currently in the salty shipyard, and uh, we should be able to from there uh, begin our uh, expansion and and form an empire, that kind of thing. Um, I think that'll work. Now coming back to the hub pub, I haven't been here in a while, so but I think it actually is okay. I think it works out pretty well. Now this station is not finished. I got to do a little bit more work. Uh, we need a docking platform. And a couple more docks uh, on the end of this. I'm still not sure what to do about these cargo containers here. I uh, I kind of like them though. I, the last time I was here, I was talking about not being sure about this uh, about this bit attached right here, but I still am not sure. I had a couple of really good suggestions about it. Some people said uh, to put them around the bottom of this. I think that would work. I think that would be pretty good, and we might even be able to fit a few more. Like we could fit one two, three, four, five, um, six, probably seven containers that way. And right now we only have six. So we might be able to get a few extra containers and they would look cool there. Uh, my concern is they would block this, but we could always move that a little bit lower. Um, so we could do that. Uh, we also, let's see. We, we definitely could do that. I think this would be a viable station um, w once we get it finished. We just need to finish it. I think that's the next project we're going to work on. So I went and grabbed a bunch of cargo uh, with the, and the Dragoon so that we could start construction here. But very quickly I've run into a snag. I only have 2,000 gray hull blocks. And of that, only one wedge so that is definitely a problem now i uh salty shipyard's full so i gotta find another way to get some blocks now we are trying to jump start the economy right so let's buy them from somebody um i wonder if jace machine has any blocks let's send him a mail real quick mail we're going to create new recipient jace you can do tab to autofill subject economics 101 and i already have a message it says ahoy there android man in the interest of the galactic economy i am currently in the process of setting up a shop at the center of the galaxy my production efforts have currently surpassed the capabilities of my factories and i am in need of several thousand gray hull blocks of course i will pay you for your time and materials cap I think that sounds good. We uh, do want to make one small edit here and uh, fix the, the line break uh, and put it there. And then let's go ahead and send this. And hopefully, Jace Machine can help us out. Uh, what's up, man? Not much. Just hanging out here at the station. I got that message from you. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, about the hull. Have you got some hull by chance? I got some I got some hull in my my storage. Okay, I'm thinking what I'll do. Uh, I've got the dragoon here with me. I pulled the pod off of it. Um, do you have a pod you could give me? I will pay you, of course. Um, yeah, I can absolutely I'll just throw one, you know, I'll throw it in no problem. 
Okay, cool. They're oh. they all they they're, I mean they have your logo all over them anyway. I actually <laughs> haven't gotten one made for myself yet. Okay, no worries, no worries. I'll uh, I'll go ahead and uh, come over to you then. I think I have your coordinates already. Easy peasy. All right, yeah, doctor, buddy. you're ready to roll. So you've got uh, uh, you've got a cargo pod for me. Yeah, somewhere I actually kind of loaded up. Okay, very cool. Well, I've got some credits for you. We can make an even trade. So. <laughs> All right. So you select the rail that something is docked to, right? And then you attach it to a chest. Is that how that goes? Wait, what are you trying to do? Just fill up the fill up the pod? I'm going to have one chest from my inventory fill up another chest, which will then fill up the pod. Okay, do you have the hole in your personal cargo? I do not. Well, yeah, it's in my personal cargo, but okay, it's... Okay, uh, so just uh, turn on auto-pull on the pod and load it from your cargo into the pod. I don't think they're hooked up quite it yet. It doesn't matter. You really? Just, yeah. Hmm, interesting. If you go All over, right. If you go over to this cargo box and hit R on it, you just drag from your personal cargo into the box. I didn't even know that. Yep, that's the easiest way. Uh, then, uh, I mean, you can set oh. it up to automatically. Oh, stuff, but... snap! Drag and drop is so easy. Okay, oh, yeah, you goodness. got a ton of stuff for me. Yeah, buddy. Okay, let me throw some credits. I, I... Do you have an eject pod switch? Nope, button? not yet. I'm still getting this thing set up, but I, I got a hole in here. I got it for you. We're okay. good. We're good. We all good. All right. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, lag spike, my friend. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> You're <were> stuck. <laughs> That's what she said. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna roll it out of here. Dude, it's not gonna work. You're sideways. This is ridiculous. <laughs> no, it's gonna work. It's totally gonna work. <laughs> this is like the least. <laughs> this is the worst way you could have possibly taken this out. I'm full of bad ideas, but they're more entertaining. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just sitting here laughing at you, man. This is ridiculous. It's it's it, gonna work. It's so stuck. It, there's no way. It's not. It's not happening. It's true. I mean, you're making slow and steady progress, I guess, but. Uh, like you're upside down and halfway sideways and <laughs> twisted at a weird I'm angle. Half blind as well, and I never let that stop me. <laughs> All right, maybe I will. <laughs> I'll just drink my coffee. Mm. Man, this is some good coffee. How do you like your coffee? I do. Uh, I do. If I'm like at a restaurant, I do one cream, two sugars. Yeah. But uh, generally, I don't I don't put a lot of sugar. Uh, but I do like it with cream. Uh, I don't like too much cream though. I'm particular about my coffee. I am too. I like I like a, I like it to taste like coffee. I like to have a good roast flavor to it. Um, but I don't like it to be too sweet, and I don't like it to be too creamy. Oh, there you go. I see you made it to your ship just fine. I have, and I'm coming to retrieve you. Very good. I'm just hanging out on the outside of this. Can you hear the sound of a bass guitar strumming in the background? No. Good. <laughs> Should I be able to? <laughs> I really do. Do you don't have want a bass guitar to... inside that cargo pod? <laughs> it's, it's it's just the the I get these weird radio waves coming through in my uh my communications, and I don't know if I'm being hacked or if uh or if uh you know I'm just. I don't know. It's the problems when you're an Android, you know? Now, if you Android still, problems. Hashtag if you, Android problems. If you remain still... If I, I remain still... I'm not, I'm not even attached. I'm floating around out here. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Right. I'm going to try and grab this cargo pod. I've never actually done this before, so I don't know if it's going to work. It'll be a wonderful spectacle, and I'd love to watch it. I need to rotate like this. I don't know if I can pick up that pod, actually, because it's faction to you. Is it? Let me uh, go inside and do something about that faction. Module. Mojuel. 
Oops. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there is no faction module on there, this. That's right. But if you spawned it in from a from a from a shipyard, it would have automatically assigned mm. your faction. All right. Let me see what I got here. Faction module. I'll put it on there and then unlock it. All right. It is all clear. Oh, it's so close. I may have to shoot a laser at it. May have to. I really like the look of this vessel, by the way. Oh, thank you. The clip style uh, canister holstery sort of, I don't know, it just looks cool. I dig it, I dig it. Yeah, I'm working on a, I, uh, I, I'm working on a salvage drone, kind of. They actually uh, work similarly to the ones that you made, incidentally. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I'm working on those for the junk fleet. Nice. I don't know how uh, how they're going to turn out yet. I just started on it. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to get a line to your vessel here. There we go. Get a better view. Oh, let's see. I need to do... It's going to be tough. Okay, now this should... There we go. Magnificent. Isn't she magnificent? Permission to come aboard. Ah, granted. Thank you. I like it. This is a pretty cool uh, cockpit. I like the the openness of it. Having an open cockpits is is the way to go, man. After the Stanford and these new uh, the new ships that I've been playing with, uh, it's it's the only way to go. In my opinion. Dude, have you seen the cockpit in my newest ship? Uh, no. You got a minute? You want to come back to the salty shipyard with me? Why, sure. Have a seat somewhere, and we will traverse the galaxy together. Sian to say, por favor. Uh, this no, is the part where you stab me and leave me for dead. Oh, man, I mean, you're in my space now. You got no way to get home. You, you got no way to get home. <laughs> so got that? Uh, here's the bridge. This is what I was excited to show you. Ooh. Interesting. I forgot we could smush those things. Isn't that a cool display thing? It is really cool. These are ladders where the where the hazard striping is. Okay, yes, yes. So you can f jump, you can jump, but you can float up here. And then you've got two more stations. You know, one right here and one over there where you are. Heck yeah. So you've got th this, this is a crew of three people. Now, if this were a real spaceship, it would be like a crew of six people, and it takes three to run the ship. Uh, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I've only made three beds, so. <laughs> Someone's got to sleep on the floor, damn it. That's right. Or maybe you sleep in shifts or something. This, um, is, a, this is an interesting look. It goes like, oh, it's in this sector over here. Yeah, exactly, like a map. Mm -hmm. Like a tactical map readout kind of thing. Um, this button right here by the transporter, I'm going to hit it. You know what could you could do with this thing? Ooh, I like that. So I thought of it more of uh, and like running I'll... lights than red alert. Gotcha, yeah. But red alert works too. I mean, it's kind of the same thing. Um, you could take a display and have it attached to a rail so it would work sideways and have the display sending the um, its sort of little graphics up into the air in front of it. And if you were just keep something simple with like X's and O's, you could have little positions floating in front of the displays if you yes. line up three underneath there. Yes, that would be amazing. Well, sir, I appreciate the doing of the business with you today. Absolutely. Thank you much for your contribution to, uh, mm -hmm. to my project. Well, we got to keep that uh, the economy rolling. I'm not going to stop the economy just because 
one when planet got blown up, you know? It's That's ridiculous. Right. That's right. Somebody's got to get this economy started, and I'm happy to take that burden upon myself. All right, so Jace Machine has been returned home safely. We have uh, retrieved our gray hull, and everything is fantastic once again. <laughs> um, I'm going to cut it here, guys. We're running a little bit long, but thank you so much for tuning in. If you like the episode, be sure to leave a like on the video. Uh, next time, we're going to work on this station. I'll see you then. Stay tuned.